Okay, I'm going to kind of give you a quick rundown on how to teach your AI to learn an individual track. First thing you might want to make sure is that you go into your user data folder under your particular profile name, look for your PLR file, go down into the game options and find the line private test day. Make sure that it equals one. Okay, so after you've saved your PLR file, you start up their track that you want to use. You click on settings and you go into your rules. You want to make sure that it's AI uh, vehicles are set to one. Uh, start time is around 8 o'clock. Scaling off. Private testing is set on your mechanical failures, tire wear, fuel usage, and lap rules. Uh, your flag rules are turned off. Then you're going to go ahead and add an AI and your testing will automatically begin. Now if you sit and want to be torturous to yourself and watch the AI in the window drive the track at its particular normal speed, then feel free it's going to take you a long time. best thing to do will be to press Control T and speed up the process and then let it run. Okay, and observing on what's going on here probably notice two things. In your chat window you see an off by XX amount of meters. This is the amount of distance your vehicle is taking off the AIW's fast path. So obviously the lower the amount of meters it's off by, the tighter and more consistent laps it's going to take around the track. Secondly, you'll notice that the lap times are also decreasing, which is why we're running the AI test in the first place. We want your AI to be competitive and be fast. Okay, so ideally you would like to have it as close to zero, 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 or zero meters off of your fast line as possible. Okay, what do you do when it uh, gets close to the end? I like to run about 100 laps. The program will automatically stop once it successfully learns the track. If it doesn't and you get bored and didn't want to wait forever, you can type fin the word finish in the command line in your chat window. And this will take one more lap and then finalize and create your INI file. Okay, so we're getting close to the end here. It's almost ran 100 laps. Okay, so I don't even have to type in finish. It completed and learned successfully at 0 0.87 meters, which is fantastic.
Okay, so the next thing you have to do is you're going to exit R factor. You're going to open up your vehicle folder. For the look for the vehicle that you just ran the testing on, and you're going to look for the uh, generated INI file. In this case, it was the track 10 INI. Now you're going to cut and paste the tracks INI file that you just taught your vehicle to learn and you're going to paste it into the vehicle's main folder. In this case it's the WCORR folder. You'll also notice I have quite a few other tracks that I've taught in there as well so they're all pretty well done and the AI are usually pretty competitive. One more trick you can do for improving your AI would be to take your personal vehicle setup file, uh, which will be an SVM file. Name it to the track that you want it to apply to and paste it into this very same folder and your AI will be that much better because they'll use your setup. I hope you find this a little bit more helpful rather than just trying to read about it.